sight when I get there. You get the stuff. I got literal chills. Like they really nailed it with the intros in this series. But I digress. Let's get on with the show. And so, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens, hello and welcome to Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries. I'm Computer, and with Mercenaries, we're actually moving back, both in time and to what Mech Warrior 1 was like. We are once again in charge of our own company. We can salvage, buy, sell, and outfit battle mechs. And we have to worry about paying our mech warriors. Also, if we bite off more than we can chew, well, you can't grab the money if you can't afford arms for your mechs. Or rather, we could be in charge, depending on our choice here. We can choose the mercenary commander mode, where we are in control of our own company and fortune, good or bad. Or we can play as a normal mercenary, hired by a company but not actually in charge of it. This way, you can play through the entire campaign without worrying about such petty things as bankruptcies. I don't even remember if you get to choose your own mech for each mission. But again, I digress. We will be going with the mercenary commander mode. So, without further ado, let's start a new game. New career selected. Watch your speed. Dom Mac Heat is not full at 570. Roger. 20 meters to target. At all clear, Venom 1. Setting down. Welcome home. All new arrivals, please register at the Comstar Terminal. In a second, but first, you read that right. It is currently May 3044, which is 13 and a half years before the Wolf and Jade Falcon campaigns started. Or will start, depending on how you look at it. And we are currently living through the Decade of Peace, which is a bit of a misnomer because there is no such thing in the Battletech universe. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure it will last, I'm sure, I'm sure. But, uh, let's, uh, see what's up here. Enter call sign. Good, and, uh, yeah. That works. If you're reading this, by now you know that I'm dead. The good news is you can keep your mech and any money we have in the bank. You're going to have to run the show for yourself now. The computer in my office will show you what contracts are available and what pilots are up for hire. That's how I found you, not so very long ago. Let other people worry about patriotism. You just keep your mind on the money and don't get yourself killed on some stinking rock. No load of sea bills is going to bring you back from the grave. Or me, for that matter. Oh well, I never could say no to a mission. Good luck. Your former commander, Colonel Holly Harris. I love that this is voice acted. Also, this is how I learned how to pronounce Colonel in my youth, because I had ever only read it before. So, that's a bit of a trivia. And moving on. We can go to a dropship, but uh, we, I think... Access denied. Secure a contract before boarding. 
Thank you. We can also read the news for a if little bit. Here. This, okay, well, never have... mind. I guess we can't. Not at the moment. We have a computer here. Contracts personnel. We personnel. do have a mech warrior for hire. Thousand credits, that's not a lot. Hold on. Gunnery B, piloting C plus, call sign Tusk. Psychological profile, Christian scores extremely low on all IQ tests. However, his combat skills are excellent, making up for his academic weakness with excellent eye hand coordination and physical health. Career history, Christian's Christian there should be an apostrophe there. Combat experience is limited to a single battle for House Liao. In that battle, Christian hunted down and destroyed an impressive eight enemy mechs when he was cut off from his assignment with a pursuit list. I'm going to hire you. Yeah. We can also hire Aerotech pilots. That, that... Not sure how useful that's going to be, but uh, also... Accessing... Personnel. Oh, so that's per month, not, uh, all right, good, good, good. That's fine. Finances. finances. Yes, a thousand per month. Wow. Battle mech maintenance is 10,000. Technician salaries, travel cost, broker fees, guild dues. I would expect these to be a lot more. But, oh, well, oh, well. And inventory. Accessing we have a commando. We have no missiles, we have three medium lasers, no projectile weapons, no equipment, and SRM-6 ammo, but no SRM-6 launchers. Got it. And we'll look into contracts later. For now, let's look at our mech. Arms Merchant, what do you have? LRM20, 15, 10, 5, 6, 4, 2, all good. We don't get any ultra auto cannons, we don't get any uh, pulse lasers, or ER large lasers, or ER PPCs, or anything like that. And, uh, wow, the price really ramps up. We could sell. That's a lot of money, uh, but uh, hmm, let's keep them for now. There's an urban mech, there's another commando, a Jenner. Oh right, yeah. Um, in this game, we will not be piloting a Marauder uh, ever, because it doesn't exist in the game. And the same is true for the Jenner 2C, but not the normal Jenner, which is odd because they look basically the same. No. Panther. PPC, SRM4. Cool. Cicada. Looks very different from Mech 5. Also looks like it's, like, backwards. Four large and one... S no, two large and one small. There's also a stalker. I would love you. I hate your legs, but I would love to have you around. But that's 9.3, almost 9.4 million. And then there's the crab. Large lasers, two of them, and a medium and a small. Sentinel. Small laser, SRM2. Two AC5s. Thug. Don't remember you. All right. Two SRM4s, two PPCs, bombardier. You look kind of like an archer to me. Two LRM20s, machine gun, one SRM4. Yeah, a bit like an archer, except uh, no lasers. And then we have a flashman. Did they lose the right? For no, the Flashman does exist, but like, did they lose the rights to the Firestarter as well? I forget. A Flamer, two large lasers, five mediums. But um, we can't afford any of these anyway. I guess I could sell you for 3.3 million. And then 
via Jenner, if I wanted to, seems inadvisable. Customization. Three mediums. SRM six. Let's move those. There. And there. Just in case. Also, that's 200,000. Okay, I was gonna move the lasers into the center, like to, in, to the torso, but that's, actually, I don't even know if I can at this point. Let's see what happens. I can, okay, good. So there are hard points there, got it. But uh, yeah, let's not waste too much uh, money. Uh, yes, sure. Thank you. And we can set weapon groupings out of combat this time. So you get to be one. And that's fine. Repair and reload. I didn't realize. Repair, yes, but ammo. I didn't uh, realize you needed to re reload between missions. But, uh, all right, good. We have a mech. We also have a person that doesn't have a mech to be in, but I hope we'll fix that at some point. Now let's look at contracts. And, uh... Connecting to Comstar contract database. Training is good. 300,000 is not a lot of money. And we don't get a lot of salvage rights and... Uh, Minimum pays bounty. We could take a random mission as well, which pays a lot more. And excellent salvage rights. Um, or we can... I think this is... I think this is a campaign mission. So we'll probably do this eventually. But uh, let's go with training because I haven't played this game in a very long time. So, the mercenary unit Hansen's Rough Riders is searching for a few inexperienced mech warriors that already own their own mechs to supplement Hansen Rough Riders in a Draconis contract. While the job is for the Draconis Combine, the ideal candidate will be reporting to Rough Rider Command. You will be watching... No, you will be watched over and guarded by an experienced mech warrior throughout the two-month campaign. The job pays 300,000 sea bills upon completion. The com combine will pay for all reasonable ammo. That's nice of them. All reasonable ammunition expenses. How very nice. But uh, it's one and a half months. We're going to Venaria. Let's not catch anything. And uh, yeah, I think now we can probably read the news if you're reading this no no we can't never mind then all right terminal uh... ah, well. let's go Those are a little bit better than the ones in Ghost Bear's Legacy, I think. Oh, hello. Interesting that it sometimes just decides to be teleport around the screen. We can abort if we want to, but uh, let's not. Finance is inventory due to roster launch mission. We are setting down on a hot landing zone. We suspect that there are pirate mechs in the area. You and your drill instructor, Sergeant Unther, will patrol the area around the dropship, searching for signs of enemy activity. Codename, training mission. Planet Venaria, terrain, rolling hills, and it's during the day. Mean temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, which is fairly warm and cozy. Mission pay is none. Experience resistance, expected resistance, pirates. Your call sign, kid or hey you. 
Listen to your instructor's commands, he will not repeat himself. After giving you simple instructions in the operation of your mech, you must go to all the nav points and finally return to dropship Wild Ride. Target, objectives, target, uh, nav alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and then Wild Ride back there. Patrol the area around your dropship. Go to these nav points. Sounds easy enough. We also get a bit of a diary, or a journal, as he calls it. Left outreach today, bound for Venaria. I'm still not used to space travel, and we were under a 2G burn for over an hour. Not very comfortable. I hear things are pretty hot on Venaria. The Draconis Combine has told Hansen's Rough Riders to move up their scheduled arrival by a full two weeks. I thought this was supposed to be an easy mission. Came out of the jump at 12.34, nice. Our dropship was out by 1.30, and we were met by a couple of pirates aerospace fighters by 6. What a day. The pirates weren't really interested in fighting, they were much more interested in getting us to go away. I overheard one mech warrior saying they tried to bribe Hansen's Rough Riders into breaking their contract with the Combine. The Rough Riders refused. We just pulled into orbit over an area. I have been told that my trainer is to be Sergeant Unther. I don't know anything about him, but several mech warriors rolled their eyes and laughed when I mentioned it to them. They chuckled for a minute about the Macomb incident, but uh, refused to give me any details. One wished me luck before he left. I hope this Sergeant Unther isn't a loser. Oh, he isn't. He isn't. Also not a winner, but... Well, we'll see. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Thank you. Welcome to the front lines, kid. My name's Sergeant Unther, but you can call me Deadeye. I'll be your babysitter for the next couple of days, so don't get killed. I hate it when my guys get killed. I'm in the big mech in front of you. Shoot me even once, and I'll tear that beer can you call a mech into scrap. Today, you and I are going on a short patrol. I don't think we'll meet any hostiles, but stay alert. If we get into a fight, you just watch my back and let me kill everybody. I love having an audience. Fair enough. First, hit the N key on your console. See the nav point in the lower left-hand corner of your screen? That's the first point of our patrol. Hit one of the number keys on the top of your console. They control your speed. The higher the number, the faster you go. Use your joystick to head in the direction of nav alpha. Thank you. We are being trained today by a legend. There's no one who doesn't love Deadeye. I'm sure he will go on to do great things in the coming years. Also, I really want a catapult. Although, in this game, there's no point in going for lower level, lower tonnage uh, mechs. Once you get an Lab atlas, alpha reached. yeah, you're never going to pilot anything Notice else. Notice how your nav computer cycles automatically to the next nav point. Head for that point now. If you lose the nav point, watch for the green arrow on your HUD. Green arrow is your best friend. It will always point you towards your selected nav point. Thank you. Yeah, once you get an atlas or a dire wolf, yeah, you're never going to pilot anything Good. else. Now we have only two more nav points to do. Go to each in turn and keep your speed up. In real combat, speed is life. You go slow, you die. Unless you're in an atlas. Again, because then you won't have to worry about anything like that. Also, uh, we're using the DOS version of the game right now because the Windows version has a lot more bugs. But the Windows version also has dynamic salvage, which this one doesn't have. Um, if you play Mission 4, you're always going to get the same salvage, no matter what, for instance. Which is sad, and also means we will not be piloting a Timberwolf in this uh, playthrough, ever. But uh, I feel like the 
graphics of the DOS version have aged a little bit better than the Windows version. And also, now lasers cause lights in the world, which is pretty Lab cool. Delta reached. Dropship Wild Ride, this is Deadeye. Me and Fresh Meat here have finished our oh. sweep and are heading back home. The area is secure. Not a bad day, kid. Get back to the dropship. It's at the return nav point. I just got a promotion from Kid or Hey You to Fresh Meat. Or maybe that's a demotion. Also, there is a potential that we're gonna get a bug here. Mission successful. There we go. Mission successful. Sergeant Unther Hansen's Rough Riders. Well, you made a patrol. Good thing there wasn't anyone around. Successful all around. We get no rewards, however, and no weapons or mechs as a salvage. And again, every single mission, the amount of salvage you get is fixed. There's no reason to go legging things or trying to aim for their cockpits. Um, again, unless you're playing the Windows version. Also, there is a bug in the DOS Ox version of the game where I think if you take too long to finish a mission, you will fail it. You will get an error and then fail the mission. It, I think maybe it's a memory issue. But also, telling DOSBox to run slower might help. Um, I'm running at 50% right now, which you can do by holding down control and pressing F11 like five times. And uh, yeah, if your computer is stronger, then you might have to go even lower. But like the game can run on a potato, so it should be fine, I think. Anyway, aftermath. Comstar News Service. Fierce fighting continues on Venaria as Draconis forces, including the mercenary unit Hansen's Rough Riders, met pirate raiders in several pitched battles on the world's fertile northern continent. Draconis command claims to have destroyed nearly a company of pirate mechs, while the Rough Riders encountered and destroyed only a lance at one of the dropship landing zones. While the total losses on the Draconis side remain hidden to Comstar, the pirates claim to have destroyed two full lances of Draconis mechs, including an assault lance and that was thought too powerful for the pirates to ever face in open battle. The pirates claim that Hansen's Rough Riders fought better than the DCMS, Draconis Combine Mustard Soldiery. The pirates claim no kills against the Rough Riders. How kind of them. And yeah. Well, it is a training mission. We don't really get paid for it, I suppose. Sergeant Unther Hansen's Rough Riders, today you're going to get a little target practice. We're going to take out an airfield, codenamed Turkey Shoot. Planet Venaria, terrain rolling hills, still during the day, but it's slightly colder at 8 Celsius today. Mission pay is none. We're fighting pirates again. They have an entire airfield. Call sign, kid, or hey you. Okay, so not fresh meat anymore. Mm. Go to Nav Alpha and then Nav Beta. At Nav Beta, you will find an airfield. Destroy the airfield, including all enemy aerospace fighters, then return to dropship Wild Ride. Your target, enemy airfield and its complement of aerotech fighters. Short, sweet, and to the point. McWarrior's Campaign Journal. I have heard a good deal about the fighting. The Combine is letting us bear the brunt of the battle, and then their troops are sent in at the very end to make certain that we win. So far the Rough Riders have lost three mechs, and the Draconis forces have hardly had their paint scratched. The Rough Riders seem to take this abuse with good humor. Apparently that's the way things are for mercenaries, and the way they'll always be. I was dragged out of bed a little earlier this morning by Unther, or Deadeye, as he prefers to be called. He's not a loser, but he might be a psycho. I think I remember reading about him in a newspaper when I was 16. Something about a war atrocity somewhere near Terra. Well, whoops. Uh, go to Nile Alpha and Beta, destroy aircraft and airfield, and then report back to the Wild Ride.
Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Same All systems place. Nominal. Good morning. How's it feel to be strapped into a walking nuke reactor at 6 a.m.? Bet you're sorry it didn't Cozy. study harder in school, huh? <laughs> Hit that throttle. You'll be killing people before breakfast today. Soldiers, mostly. Maybe some civilians. This is a real combat mission, so don't go soft. Follow me to Nav Alpha. Wait, you don't have to... I'm strapped to a walking nuke reactor, and I had no, like, education to get here? That seems a little lopsided and weird. Also, I wonder how, like, how are dentists doing in this universe? Nav Alpha reached. Like, All right, hang on a minute. Our target, the airfield, is just ahead of Nav Beta. But first, let me show you how to work your targeting system. Hit the E key on your console in front of you. That targets the closest enemy. As you can see, that's an enemy fighter craft. Don't worry, he's still on the ground. Now, let's go take him out. Use your radar in the upper left-hand corner of the screen to find him. And there we go. Like, are dentists making more than a mech warrior in this universe? Or doctors? Well, the politicians probably, yes, but... Oh, well. Group fire engaged. Well, it might overheat me, but it should be fine. Nav beta reached. Hey, you're almost on top of him. Hit the space bar on your console to fire your weapons. Just nope. put your targeting. That's critical. jump jets. <laughs> nice shooting. Scratch one fighter. Scratch one pilot. Poor bastard didn't even have to do jacks. <laughs> now. Turn your guns on the hangar and the power supply. Destroy them quickly so we can get the hell out of here. Well, I hope they were insured. <laughs> Let's head back. Return to the dropship at the final nav point. Alpha, there. Heat wasn't really a problem, but it could be in the long run. I suppose. Y yes. Um. Good. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Going this way. It's a little bit bleaker than I remember it being. Maybe. Hold on. Combat variables? No. Device calibration monitor brightness is fine. All right. Mission mm. successful. Thank you. Mission successful. Nice shooting on that airfield. Without those aerospace fighters, these pirates don't have a prayer. And we actually get some money this time. 4,000, which is not a lot, but... Fine. Comstar News Service. The battle for Venaria escalated today as Draconis and Rough Rider units dealt the pirates a serious blow. Military analysts believed that the pirates' vast arrow fighter superiority could turn the tide of the war, which has so far favored the Draconis Combine. Earlier today, the Draconis forces struck with a multi-pronged attack against pirate and civilian airfields scattered across the northern continent. Draconis High Command claims that there were no DC casualties during the raids, which began in early morning and lasted until sundown. The Combine further claims 25 aerofighter kills, 23 on the ground and 2 in the air. According to Chu Yi Hin Orasan, leader of the Draconis forces on Venaria, the pirates never saw us coming. We could not have hoped for such an easy victory. Hmm, no mention of us, though. Your training is nearly complete. In this mission, you must identify and destroy a supply convoy, 
We are looking for trucks carrying ammunition. Identify the trucks carrying ammunition before you destroy them so that we can confirm how much ammunition they were carrying. Code name: Cat and Mouse. Planet Venaria, rolling hills during the day, 10 Celsius now. So, getting a little hotter. Uh, mission pays none. Um, expected resistance in pirates. Go to Nav Alpha, then Nav Beta. When you find the convoy, identify all the trucks carrying ammunition and then destroy the entire convoy. When your mission is complete, return to Wild Ride. Your target. Enemy supply convoy. Identify the trucks carrying ammunition. Sounds good. I successfully completed the strike mission today. I wonder what stupid chore they'll set for me tomorrow. I'm starting to wonder if I will get to do any real fighting on this campaign, or if I'm just a Rough Riders cleanup maid for the duration. Unther might be a psycho, but he seems to know what he's doing. Dragged me out of bed even earlier than yesterday. It's not even sun up yet. I've got to go out with old man Unther and blast some trucks. Fun, fun, fun. When am I going to see some real action? Careful what you wish for, careful what you wish for. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Today we start a little earlier than usual. I love night fighting. You can really see a man's fear in thermograph. Hit the L key to go thermo. Now, head to Nav Alpha and watch for enemies. This area is a free fire zone. Thermal optics. Engaged. Group fire. Engaged. Ow. That... That better come out of your pay. Probably won't, though. Probably won't. Maybe slow down a little bit. Well, we're fighting trucks. Um, okay, fine. Thank you. Also fighting gravity, apparently. I love that that's still around and a rubble at this point. We're going on to Nav Beta. There we'll find a supply convoy. Some of the trucks contain enemy ammo vital in coming battles. It might be enough for you to just destroy the convoy, but we need to be certain that you get the ammo. So, you gotta identify the trucks first. Put your targeting reticle over a truck and press the Q key. Once you have the truck targeted, press the I key to see what's inside the truck. Identify the trucks with ammo in them, and I will destroy them. Okay, I'm gonna speed up here a little bit. Also, he's gonna destroy them. Well, all right, all right. If I'm getting paid, then I'm probably gonna get paid either way. Let's see. Good going, kid. I've got it. Good recon work. Now get out of the way. I'm locking on. There. Complete. And we are returning... To get back to the drop ship. Just follow the return nav point home. Don't get lost out here. I'm not gonna come look for you if you do. Thanks. Wait, isn't he sticking around here? Or is that next mission? I forget. Tonight is a nice time for a little stroll. You know, stretch out the old myomer mech muscles. But I'm sad that there isn't any music in the training missions, however. It would be pleasant to have some umber wall playing in the background during these night missions. 
In fact, here, have some music on me. successful thank you excellent mission successful congratulations kid you're almost ready for the real thing your successful identification and destruction of the enemy convoy proves that you can think as well as shoot and uh, all successful and we get 4,000 credits the Venerian pirates continued their retreat today in the face of superior Draconis and Rough Rider forces. With the destruction of the airfields and today's loss of several supply depots and convoys, the pirates may be beyond either victory or escape. The Draconis Combine has sworn to destroy the pirates to a man for their year-long harassment of Draconis shipping lines and their brutal occupation of the world of Venaria. Oh, so it's an occupation. that explains why they have airfields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surrender is not a possibility for the pirates, who have sworn to fight until the bitter end. Already 1,500 soldiers have been killed in only three days of fighting. While the worst of the fighting appears to be finished, the remaining pirates are making their final stand in crowded cities. Citizens are refusing to flee their homes, fearing possible combine reprisals for their placid acceptance of pirate rule. As we enter what appears to be the final days of the Venere occupation, the DC have already begun to gloat. Chui Hin Orazan told reporters today, There is no place in this galaxy for pirate scum. Mercenaries are bad enough, but pirates are truly contemptible. We will enjoy exterminating them. Thank you for that. That's, that, feel, that makes me feel great about my occupation. Uh, not that occupation. Anyway, yes. Uh, Moving on. Well, it's time to see if you're ready for combat. Follow me, we're going to take on a couple of pirates. Final exam, and the planet is still Venaria. Terrain is rolling hills, it's during the day and 28 Celsius. That's very warm. And we get uh, 300,000 plus bounty now. Go to Nav Alpha, then Nav Beta, and at Nav Beta, you must destroy two enemy mechs. Listen to your trainer over the course of the mission, and then return to the dropship Wild Ride when your mission is complete. I'm surprised the whole listen to your trainer isn't part, like, isn't an objective, but all right. Your target, two enemy mechs lying in ambush. Well, that was a panther. But the first mech I don't recognize. Oh well. At last, some real combat. I heard this morning that a Rough Rider Pursuit Lance was cut off from its company when it followed several crippled pirate mechs into a forest. They were quickly surrounded in a pirate ambush and two were killed. The other two escaped, but one took a full volley of SRMs, two of which struck his cockpit. He is badly wounded, but still hasn't ejected. They were trying to give him first aid instructions over the radio for the better part of an hour this morning. I still can't get the sound of his screaming out of my head. Bunther has told me that he and I are going to clean out a pirate ambush point. Apparently two pirates are waiting just outside our landing zone, hoping to intercept our two wounded buddies on their way back to the dropship. This might be my last entry. God, I don't want to die on Venaria. Well, at least you didn't catch any diseases well, that we know of. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Today, Come on. we get to do some real killing. God, I love mixing business with pleasure. <laughs> Head for I... Nav Alpha. I'll explain on the way. Yeah. Early this morning, the fighting got pretty thick, and some of the boys in our unit were cut off. Two are dead, one is badly wounded but still in his mech. A couple of enemy mechs are waiting to ambush the survivors up ahead at Nav Beta. We need to clear them out so our friends can get back to our dropship. Stop at Nav Alpha. 
if you insist. Speeding up or slowing down on a slope seems to not really work. Oh, um. Thank you Lab for that. Alpha reached. We've got two contacts up ahead. One's in a javelin, the smaller one on the left. Ah. Nasty close range mech. You gotta take him. Shoot for his cockpit. Kill the meat. Save the metal. All right, let's move out to Nav Beta. You take care of the javelin. Remember, that's the one on the left. And I'll take care of the other enemy. If you get killed, try to scream a lot. That way I'll climb on my own. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Although, yeah, accurate. So that's a javelin, huh? There we go. Yeah, you have basically... Group fire engaged. Good job, Lab thank you. Beta reached. Ow. Enemy mech destroyed. Good shooting. Oh, hello. Can you fall down? I forget. Well, probably can't because you have jumped yet. There we go. Did you just... Yeah, I think he just hit me. Also, I should probably get out of the way then. Good luck, good luck. Why would you want to live on outreach, though? I mean, no, no. If you're a mech warrior, then yes. Outreach, good place, yes. But if you want to, like, retire? I'm not sure outreach is the best place. Unless they have some kind of neutrality agreement where you'll never, like, there's never going to be any fighting on Outreach. Oh well, oh well. Now then, I took some damage in that and I do need to get that repaired. Mission successful. Pretty sure that I hit me a couple of times but uh, anyway not bad kid our retreating comrades owe you their lives they would never have survived a pitched battle in their battled uh, damaged battle mix we get another 4,000 and 500 and then 300,000 I think total expenses what would those be is that the monthly cost maybe and no weapon salvage, no mech salvage. It's fine, it's fine. We're back over a million, so it's good. On Venaria, at 2.30 local time, the pirates made their last desperate attack on the Draconis Combine and their mercenary support. Hansen's Rough Riders bore the brunt of the fighting, losing seven battle mechs and destroying two depleted pirate companies. The battle for Venaria is finished and the pirates have all been captured or killed. Only two pirates remain at large, their bodies unrecovered. Will that be the ones I killed? No, that wouldn't be it. But why would they mention specifically two then? 
The reason for the pirate attack remains a mystery. Apparently abandoning their defensive position in the city today at around noon local time, the pirates struck out against the Combine in a suicidal attack that left their forces decimated in less than an hour. Anonymous Venerian citizens claim that the pirates ended the war by attacking to avoid excessive damage to Venerian cities and to protect the lives of friends and families who were hidden in those cities. Others claim that the pirate leader had gone mad and instructed his troops to attack, believing that victory was in his grasp, and thus ends the year-long pirate occupation of Venaria. I'm starting to wonder if they maybe weren't pirates necessarily, but like just people who didn't want to be part of the Draconis Combine anymore. Yeah, we'll never know. So, now news? News. How oh, nice. Draconis Combine representatives admitted today that their occupation of Galadon 5 has been plagued by a rebel force opposing the continued DC presses. Yeah, it sounds more like what was what we just went through, really. Rebels more than pirates. Uh, in other news, Draconis Combine coordinated Takashi Kurita continues his campaign against the Wolves' Dragoons. An anonymous source close to the coordinator called his hatred for the mercenary group obsessive. He is largely ignoring the conflict with the Federated Commonwealth, apparently content to leave such matters in the hands of his son Theodore, heir to the House of Kurita. And also, on a lighter note, a celebration was held on Outreach last week to celebrate the 50th birthday of Colonel Martin Wang, leader of the Burning Rain Mercenaries. Few mercenaries survive continual combat for as long as Wang has, but he told reporters that he has had enough. My nerves are shot, said the haggard mech warrior. I've got to get some rest. Uh, mm. More contracts for me. Also, 33 years? That would make him 17 when he started, I think. Unless, uh, yeah, I can't do math, so... Let's repair our mech. For a moment. It's probably gonna take way too long. Uh, not long, but um, seven and a half thousand. I can survive that. Except repairs, yes. Now, what kind of mechs are up for offer now? Commando, Urban Mech, Javelin, Jenner, Panther, Assassin, Cicada, Zeus. Hello. Cheap for an assault. And uh, LRM, uh, LRM 15, two mediums, a large laser, and uh, an AC5. Hmm. I would want it, yes. Crab, Sentinel, and a flashback. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see, do we have any people? No, we do have personnel. Psycho Jennings, Gunnery B, Piloting B, call sign Mr. Happy, but Psycho? Okay, never mind. Killer Ives, that's not a lot of money. For an A class Gunnery and B plus. You're very cheap. 16 kills. Uh, a total of 10 kills in only two small battles. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway, for now... So, I put all of the training missions into one video because they're all incredibly short and it would feel a little silly to have, I don't know, four or five videos that were all maybe five minutes each. Now nah, they would have been a little bit longer, maybe 10 minutes each, because I keep narrating all of the text. 
but uh, yeah, it feels better to have all of them in one video. And uh, yeah, I really like Deadeye. I wish they'd done more with him in the game and in subsequent games. Would have been really nice to have him in Mech 5, actually. But with all of that said and done for now, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Mech 2 Mercenaries, and if you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing for more. And thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time.